Evening all and welcome back to Satisfactory. So let's carry on where we left off with putting in our machines and pieces to go. Uh, between episodes I very quickly went and made myself some more copper plates. So, uh, I've got 279 of them now so that's going to help. And just tie me over on making things which is awesome. Uh, I have also realized I didn't need to put in all these walls like this here. Um, I don't know that costs three and three concrete and the wall costs three and three concrete so all they all cost exactly the same so there's no real difference between any of them which is odd you would have thought that would cost a bit more and that would cost a bit less considering it's got a hole in it actually that one it's got three holes in it but nope they're all exactly the same I suppose you'd pay for that there but I was just thinking I didn't need to put in all of these here I could have just done that one to there and then longer stretch but I did I did and it's done now so so let's connect our belts up. Does that, that actually does poke out and then come back in again. Yeah, it actually it does. It pokes out and comes back. I, I know, I know why it does it. Obviously, because it has to, because of the angles. But that's a shame. I really would have liked for that to uh, have pretty much snapped to the to the wall, essentially. Uh, right, and I realise I probably don't need that end one either as well because we're going to have four assemblers which are all going to be producing iron rods, they're called. I keep calling them iron pipes, I know, because in my brain they look like pipes. Uh, like I call copper cable, and it's not, it's just cop it's just wire. But um, but they are rods, they are iron rods, so yeah. Uh, so, where are we? We are, we're going to do to there, I'm going to go three foundations out. Like so. So that's there, and then if I go one more, I'll do that. Then can I walk? I can. I can walk in between that. Awesome. It's a little bit snug. Uh, do I want that? There it is. Was there a wall with a walkway? I think my brain's telling me there is a wall with a walkway somewhere, but not here. Walkways. Attach the foundation, they don't actually snap to walls. Yeah, they attach the foundation and not actually. You won't want to attach that set. Wow, why won't you attach that center foundation? That's interesting. Oh, okay, it'll attach to every foundation apart from the one I'm looking directly at. That's uh, not annoying at all. Wow. Um, yeah so right so we're going to come in and we're going to have four of these okay now if we're going to have four of these let's put those in let's put the four constructors in so, yeah, with a one gap in between each one does mean i can walk between them I couldn't get a belt in between them though. That's the thing. So if I wanted a belt on this wall, I couldn't do it in between there. There I could. There I could not. I think I want a belt width. I think I want a belt width in between them. So that's okay. That would let me have a belt up against that there. But here I need to go over two more. So I need to put a three gap in between each and every one of them. Is that a bit much, do you reckon? Is that... I, I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We, we, we'll do that. We'll put a three, a three gap in between there. I've seen so many people build um, as compact as they can because obviously they're like, oh, well, we you know, want to keep the space. But, look, 
I know this is probably the easiest map, but and and you can build vertically. As I said, so you can go up as high as that space elevator. I th I think I don't know what the actual cap is, but I've seen people got mega mega floors. So you know, efficiency wise, yeah, it makes sense because you want um, the smallest gap in between machines so that the product doesn't have to travel as far. But uh. Nah, I'm not all that fussed about that if I'm honest with you. Uh, oh, did I only need two? Oh, I think I needed two, yeah. Not three. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do that because otherwise things don't line up properly. So, so yeah, so we need a two gap. So if things are a little deceiving, I'm going to go that way. So, one, two. One, two, one, two, being very aware that the backside is right there. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, but that's all right. So I can get in between that, and if I wanted to run a conveyor belt in between them, it would go dead center in between the two. So that that's kind of my guideline. My guideline is to get a conveyor belt in between machines if I need it. Um, but that gives me the op the option to you know if some if I need to grab something from back here I can run it around the machine and put it into this machine here so yeah um, because there may come a time when something needs uh, the product from this machine and the one behind it for instance I I don't know I don't know let's just just say for instance something in here required iron rods and required iron ingots I could then run an iron ingot round to here into the machine and everything would be awesome yeah yeah right uh so that means here is where i want to put the splitter there so by that definition i don't need those no those two to be the splitter walls probably don't need those either I can run one line across there but I'm gonna leave them in there okay and uh, we want to build a splitter which is that one there and uh, now I can't put it right on the edge that's probably still too close I reckon no it's not Ooh, it bends through the wall Um, let's let's build backwards, shall we? So we're going to have in the centre here. We're going to have a splitter. Um, yeah, one, two. So I want to be at least two away, and we're going to have another one here. The centre. One, two. So everything is at least two away. We're going to have a smelter lined up with that. It's going to be one, two away at least. And we're going to put one here as well. It's going to be one, two. So everything is two away from each other. So that allows me to jump over conveyor belts that are on the ground, which is fine and dandy. That splitter is in the center. I mean, I know I could put a splitter here and have it but I'm, I'm doing it this way. I'm also con contemplating the idea of... No, I, could, I was going to put the smelters in facing that direction and that way. And then have them fit in. But that wouldn't work because of spacing. So, yeah. Uh, so, if I run a conveyor from there to there... You're absolutely fine with that. You are absolutely fine with that. So, can I move that splitter? Ward one more. And is it on the centre? It's not on the centre, is it? It's here. It's uh, supposed to be there. I feel like I'm putting it in exactly the same place then. There am I? No, see that? That's much more lined up. That. 
and then when this this does not bend through the wall awesome right so there we go there we go that's what we wanted and then you go into there you go into that one you go into that one you to there you to there that snapping ding 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 noise is echoey in here so uh yeah right and there we go there we go that that will work that will that will do the job unfortunately i can't have one power pool powering everything here uh i need at least two get rid of two oh, if only i could put power poles on top of um on top of the splitters that'd be great That'd be absolutely ideal if it would sit on top of the splitters, but it's not going to. You can't put things on top of... Well, uh, so instead we're going to have to put it here. Right in front of the splitter. Oh, can I... I can still... I can't get through. No. Oh, that's... that's annoying. Oh. 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 I'll put it any closer to the splitter. No. Okay, we'll have to jump a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Okay, I'll have to just jump over some things. That's fine. We're going to have walkways up there in a minute. And then we've got this giant space in the centre which is doing absolutely nothing. Um, which a lot of people will be like, what a waste. What an absolute waste. But it allows me to put in a ladder going up to my walkways above if I want to put it in there. And then I've got somewhere I can come down to and do that as well. Uh, and also, should I need access to underground, I've got a, I've got two, I've got two whole um, foundations there, which uh, could come off. Um, and anyone who's suffering from OCD is going to absolutely hate this is here and not here. But I'm sorry about that, but that's how it works camping from the out, outside wall in. That's just how it runs. Okay, so let's connect you to there. You to there and you to there. That's when the machine's powered up. Um, I'm really not sure how I'm going to run power inside here yet. I'm thinking along the edges, along the walls. Then in as required. I think power is going to be something that's just going to be not pretty. I'm honest with you, I reckon it's just going to be a little horrible looking. But that's just the way it's going to go. Because obviously power's coming in from down there. And, uh... Yeah, it's coming in from in between these two here. And, uh... I mean, if I put a power pole in there... Can I connect that to that one, or is that too far? I don't even see that one down there. Click, and click. No, that works. Okay. Okay, I bet this is too far, though. I don't even see that one. <laughs> ah, it's hiding behind that. That's why. Yeah, I bet that's... No, it's not too far, and it does connect. But I feel as if I want another power line along here somewhere anyway. So, um... Yeah, we'll put another power line in uh, there. Where? Here. Right here. And then hopefully we won't have to move it. We may do. I do not know. Right, now we'll connect these up and hope the power doesn't die. Because, um, I need to actually turn these on, don't I? That would help. <laughs> Give them some recipes to do. There we go. Right, so you iron rods, you iron rods, and hopefully my calculations are correct. And uh, things are on. If they're not, I know there's going to be some people being like, no, you've got it wrong. You've got it wrong. Which is possible. But let me double check it. So this is 60. 60 coming in, this is being split. 30, 30. This has 30 ore coming in per minute, and it uses 30 per minute to produce. It uses 30 per minute to produce one iron ingot at 30 per minute. So 30 is coming out of here and being split 15 to 15. This uses 
15 per minute to produce 15 iron rods. So that works. So that one's being split 15 15. So the 60 is coming in, being split 30 30. And the 30 is being split 15 15. And that's absolutely fine. That is working. That is exactly how we want it. Now, there is a small dilemma here, however. Mergers merger three into one. Not four into one, and not two into one. They merge a three into one. So I can't have three into one. So I'm going to have to have two into one and then two into one. Going into a storage thing here in the center. Ooh. Let's put that in. Let's put a storage container in. Uh, I don't know how far away I need it yet. Uh, I have to thought of a different way of doing it actually. Um, belts can hold 60, can't they? You produce 15, so 15, 30, so that's 60. So all four of these is only producing one belt. That's absolutely fine. Awesome. So if I go and put a ma 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 merger in here, um, and I put it. Two or do I want to put it? No, I'm going to put it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I put it right smack bang there, and then I'm going to move this one out by two. That completely destroys my whole getting through, doesn't it? So we can't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't start destroying, ruining what you've got planned already. Okay, so one, two. And then one, two, following the proper convention. Okay. And then what we can do is we can go, you have a conveyor belt to there. You have a conveyor belt to there. You have a conveyor belt to this one. No, it's this one, thank you. And you have a conveyor belt to this one. And then you have a conveyor belt to there. And then you have a conveyor belt to the uh, iron poles. That we've got yeah and again loads of wasted space i know but i don't care because it works and it looks good it's symmetrical it's it's pretty look all the all the belts coming in it's all i like it i like it okie dokie right so then we'll put a storage box in about oh, that's lined up so one two so we're gonna need definitely another foundation there at the very minimum on there line it up line it up there we go um, one two like so and oh. there we go 60 per minute iron rods coming into here awesome sort source now the problem is that I didn't want to do that first. I wanted to do my iron plates first. But this was the build that was going on the end. So this is part of the factory that is for iron rods. And now we have iron rods here. And we can put a wall on there and then have an output of iron rods going wherever we want to go to. Um, we're not going to do that because we're going to have added things going on here. So that's fine. Um, now I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm really tempted to pull this off. <laughs> Let's go. There's my iron pipe production. Um, I did say I wasn't going to, but I might. I don't know. Uh, are there asymmetrical? There aren't. There aren't asymmetrical conveyor walls. That's annoying. Who's the door? Did that was a door. Would that let me run that? Do you reckon that would do that? Kind of cuts through, doesn't it? Let's find out. Um, cut you in two. Very sorry. Uh, put a door 
left or right? Um, let's see here. That would encapsulate that one, and that would in. Yeah, it doesn't matter for an internal wall. Okay, and then let's see. It will do it. It looks funky. But it will do it. And you can't actually see it unless you're jumping on top of it. That's not so bad. I suppose. I suppose if I wanted it to be perfect and I didn't want this to do this, I would run a my own line down there and not use these wall ones. But um, you know what? We're leaving it like that. Okay, we're leaving it like that. And uh, then we get a wall. And I want to put the two. Uh, we're going to put a door in here. Door, 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 or a gate. All oh, the gates are only in that other wall design. Yeah. All in. One feature I would like this game to have is copy. Um, I would like to be able to look at a wall and press a button and copy and go, oh, I, I need more of them. Copy, bomb, copy, bomb. We're using yeah, you, magic tech anyway, so. Um, yeah, that, that would be nice. That would be nice to have. Okay. So, how big is this factory? How big is my pipe factory? Um, I know people have built them tiny. And I'm not doing that. I am building a floating city in the sky. Uh, I think once I get the actual corners done, I will put in foundation going down to the ground. And uh, at least make it look like it's got legs. Some description. Um, yeah. It would be really nice to actually have um, a foundation with... Uh, I think I said a hole in it with, um, and then you can put a lookout tower in it. That'd be great. Line a lookout tower out with it, and then you've got a ladder coming up into your building. That that'd be great. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I digress. Let's do 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 do, 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 do that. We want to leave that one open for the minute. We might even have internal this this run internally. I've run out of concrete. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, this might come out and actually run up the wall here, so I don't know yet. But then I might just extend the factory out that way. And uh, we'll live inside these buildings, because currently we've been living outside. And, uh, yeah, so how big was this building? Let's see, is it square as well? So we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. We're eight by six. So our pipe factory is an eight by six, which uh, I know some people have built much smaller ones. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I am repeating myself. But yeah, eight by six. We could make it smaller. We could easily make this smaller um, by adjusting how things here work. Coming out, going on, doing things. So you use one and then do one and then you're going on and merging and am I missing something here? Why why are you gaining things? Twelve. Eleven twelve. You're on seventy five and holding. Oh no, that might just be yeah, the, 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 they are outputting exactly at the correct pace. So, yeah. Um, when we get newer belts, then things can go a lot faster. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, things can go a lot faster. My chair making weird noises. So we can have the output, but we don't need it. This this, this runs at 60 f um, a go. I don't know if we get faster smelters and faster machines. I'm not sure, but we will see. Okay, so... We need more concrete. We need vastly superior concrete supplies. 
I can't get out that way. I should probably put in the double doors. There are not. No. Hmm. It'd be nice if that gate was a uh, not an internal wall. I could I could use those for the internal walls. Um, I don't know if they have a side, do they? They look like they do. So I can't get through there. It would be nice to be able to walk through there. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Right, so, concrete. Concrete, concrete, concrete. It's uh, copper production. That's... Oh, I dread to think we're actually at for copper. Copper cable. Copper wire. Copper whatever. Still, I should have restarted the client in between, but I didn't. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's still going nice and strong. And, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. Right, that's good. Uh, then I go in, then I go in. You're, you've got a couple of cables in there, but you don't have any concrete. Of course, you don't have any concrete because we haven't been mining any limestone. Uh, also, our power supply light. Let's just check it whilst we're here. Um, 110. Uh, oh. All 110, we're all good. We're all good. Okay. Okay. Um, I could top it up. I suppose I should. Because uh, I really don't want this to... Uh, not that fast if it does give up on me, if I'm honest with you. We're in the process of moving things, so... Doesn't really matter. Okay, sort that. There we go. Right. And hopefully we can unlock coal at some point in the near future. That would be really, really nice. I'd love that. Um, right, we've got limestone and a bit of iron ore on us. Why have we got iron? Oh yeah, we've got iron ore because we um, do uh, hit on a belt. That was a word. That's what I'm after. So this is our only known source of limestone at the moment. I'm not sure what it means by normal, and then we've got some rich ones. Is that how fast they can produce? That is a giant floating platform. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's how fast they can produce things. Maybe a normal deposit can only take a Mark 1 miner? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out later on. There's the bug. There's the bug. You've got a couple of vertexes in wrong places. Um, that might just be that I need to restart the client. It might not be an actual bug in the game. It might just be a client issue. I don't know. Um, all I do know is that I want to start producing concrete again. And I'm tempted to build a little tiny concrete factory up here. And uh, do that. So, hold on. Let me build a... It was just the constructor, wasn't it? The constructor is the only thing needed. I think. I believe. Put one down. Bonk. And yeah, concrete just requires three a go. It takes 45 per minute and produces 15. So we couldn't produce two with one. Um. I, I don't, I, yeah, sorry, I was, I was just trying to figure out in my head whether I could have two miners going and then off to three different, but then I've just realised that we only have one limestone deposit, so that does not matter. So let's get rid of that. Let's put down our, our miner. You need concrete for it. Okay. Didn't see how much concrete I actually need for it. I should probably pay attention there. Concrete, concrete, concrete. We've got three. Uh, that makes four. How much does it need? A miner requires five. Damn you. Give me your limestone. Make. Oh, 
There we go. Right. Put down a miner. Okay. And have it facing. Uh, does it matter? Suppose. We're going to have a face in there. Then we'll put down a constructor. Can I line that up? I can. Awesome. Holding control will allow me to line that up directly with this. Oh, there we go. Whoa, there's an edge there. And uh, then I can put down another um, storage container, which I do want to do. But first and foremost, I'm going to put down a splitter. Uh, not that I need a splitter. I'm, I'm not doing that because I need one. I'm doing it because I want to line it up. And I'm going to put down my storage container. Like so, I think. There we go. Well, oh. just purely to get it sort of lined up. Oh, that's, that's okay. I thought that was going to be a bit too steep right then. Um, right, so yeah, so now we have more limestone coming in, so I can just turn this on and leave it going, and not really in the way, I could have put it further over, I could have put it there, I could have put it anywhere, doesn't matter. Um, I might, as I said, flatten this off here, and have this as the access to the space elevator. We've got loads of, loads of space, loads of space, so... Let's see here. You... Oh, blimey. Uh, go away. Can't afford to cross one concrete. No. Why? Why does everything need concrete? Damn you. Can I remove any more power pools? Can I remove any more flooring? Uh, I can. Awesome. Get rid of that one. Uh, get rid of that one, and that's going to chop off my entire power supply to everything. Yep, that takes out the entire pass, entire, entire power grid. Um, and then what I can do is I can put in I'll remove this power pole and re put it in here, like so. And then we can connect that to that one. Nope, I just realized I've got that wrong. I should have put, left that power pole back there. Let's put that back. Boom. Because you are running the three power generators. And that can go over to uh, there. And that can connect to that. That can connect to that. And then that connect to that that's the power grid back online awesome right and that should be producing concrete for us very very shortly is excellent um, does mean we have an issue there now why can't we get power from the space elevator there should be giant solar arrays on top of that generating power coming down and we should be able to generate power from that but we can't um what i should have done as well was i should have made a note onto what the first objective was for the uh space elevator i should also replace this with the walkway because now we have walkways unlocked oh look i'm getting up on there is that limestone I think that is, I think that is another limestone deposit. Yes it is, so my limestone deposits have that broken thing in them. Which I, I'm gonna guess is not actually a problem with the game, I think it's just my client. I can figure that out by reloading, I suppose. But I'm not gonna do that right now. No. There we 
we go. Dun, dun, dun. Awesome. So yes, can I pin this? Can I? Uh, no, I can't. That's annoying. It needs that. I can't. I can't even right click on it to add what I want to it. So we need reinforced iron plates and we need rotors. And we are nowhere near either of those, even after all these episodes, because I've been refactoring stuff and not thinking about it. I do need to make some rotors. I need to make rotors manually to build the assembly machines. And the assembly machines can build things which I'm unaware of because I've not built one yet. So what do we need? We need four rotors and three... Uh, oh, four rotors and three... Let's uh, add to our to-do list. The, that's what it is for. Oh, right, and I should grab uh, a little bit of bar fuel. 156 is a little bit, there we go, just so we can use the chainsaw as and when required. Right, yeah. Okay, so what do we need to build modular frames? Do, 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 do. Modular frames require reinforced iron plates, and rotors require screws and that. So we, that's not that expensive actually. Requires well, lots of screws. Let's make lots of screws, shall we? We do have lots and lots and lots of uh, iron pipes up here. Iron rods, whatever they're called. Yeah, they're called iron rods. Yeah, we do have loads of them up here in storage, so I'm not fussed about using up the ones I have. Although I also don't want to sit here and uh, do a thousand of these, um, spending 10 minutes like I did breaking down 7,000 plus wood to a. Uh, How many do it need? It needs three of them, so we need nine iron plates. Uh, there we go, nine of them. That's three of those. One, two, and three. And then we need to create four of those. There we go. Okay, let's make five because we can. And then let's put down an assembler and see what this magnificent beast does. It's got two inputs, it's got a ladder. It's got a robotic arm. Got another ladder. Ooh. Cool. I like things with double ladders. You can play more with them. Um, has it got a serial number somewhere? Fix it. Come on. Where's your funky serial number? Oh. I've been playing for two hours. Yes, I know. I know. I know, because I recorded two episodes in one go, as I explained at the end of the last episode. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, don't worry, it's fine. Nice little warning though, because you could you could happily go, well, you know what, I'm going to do a two hour session, and then, boom, stop, stop them. I don't see a serial number. Like the hot AF. Oh, there it is, what's this? Uh... T1XT3 Text Text Mark 1 Cool Right <laughs> What does it do? It can make reinforced plates Awesome I uh, didn't even realise that we couldn't make them yet And I've been trying to figure that out for ages It can make rotors and it can make all the frames So it can make all the things that it requires Okay That's cool Well we want reinforced plates I suppose at some point so oh, right okay that is good that is good um the question is could we make i've forgotten how many rotors and how many modular frames we need um could we make it by hand i think we probably could i know i shouldn't um okay. uh, yeah i know i shouldn't because it takes forever to do but i'm kind of want to get that Get, get the first space of everything going because yeah but then I'm I'm getting distracted because what I should be doing in fact is uh building the next stage of our 
new iron factory because we want to be making iron man. something else i'm going to do as well um i might do it off camera is i'm going to line up that corner there all the way over to there and line up these stairs so that i can have a walkway going from there straight across and then going down as well so there will be options there will be options there'll be a walkway that comes across and changes things and yeah um ah i stopped because i needed concrete didn't i that was why because we run out of concrete so that's fine that's fine so i've not been distracted we just run out of concrete and uh, i've come over here and not not done stuff uh right so iron uh nugget creation iron ingot creation uh ooh, that's lining up with something on the other side of the wall what is it lining up with is it lining up with that i kind of hope it is it looks as if it's it is but i placed it down wrong that's not very helpful is it uh smelter line it up again line up there it is yeah, that way around like so and then once we line it up for whole controls it does snap as well on the grid awesome and then we go one away from the edge wasn't it one away from the edge yeah one away from the edge right okay and you if i say iron ingots you 30 and yada 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 right so we need to bring this one in and then split it between these two machines and then we need to go off and figure out what we want to build with it which is a lot more which is a lot more because we want to build iron plates with it don't we um and i can't do that there i need to have i need to move it over at least one more so that can't be there ah this wall may not this, this might not work i might not be able to do it with the wall i'm afraid yes i can put the wall there i don't think it will let me do that Ooh. nope nope it'll go there but it won't go there and it won't go there damn it so yeah i don't Uh, yeah, I think I actually need the space, so I think we'll have to take down that wall, I'm afraid. And that wall's not going to be there, we're not going to have a divider between the two. Which I kind of like, but it's just, it's awkward, it doesn't fit in with uh, what we're doing. Wow, that's almost full already. Um, yeah, it doesn't quite fit in with what I'm trying to achieve here um i have realized i could have made this uh, i could have used a lot better space for this by not having all the machines lined up um i could have had some of these assemblers here facing like inwards and then make this a bit thinner but in hindsight that's how it works but this 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 looks nice but we are gonna have to get rid of the wall i'm afraid terribly sorry i tried but it's just not gonna work for us I am going to leave enough space, however, between the two to have a walkway in between them, most definitely. Uh, it's interesting I can build a walkway down, but then obviously I wouldn't be able to use it, so... I want you going that way. I don't want you going down. I want you going this way. Come, come this way. No, come this way. Come. What the hell? What the... That's not what I want. I want it to snap into that, 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 bit, bit. Oh there. Thank you very much. Weirdo. Okay, there we go. Right. Not that's going to actually be there because I'm going to have it coming up somewhere else like over there and then this is going to be above ground I think put in our first sort of walkway I want to go three high 
think too high. I think three high makes more sense. That is going to be in an awkward place though now. I'm just going to put in that um, there like so. Yeah, because I actually want this to be over but not over one, this is snapping to the wrong sort of places, but then I don't think I can actually get it to snap to, yeah, because that's not exactly in the centre of the, the world, is it? So if I was to put a walkway in here, would you even let me? I don't think you would, because that's there. Yeah, we need to come over one. Okay. Whoa. You deconstructed something I didn't know about. Uh, I do want to go up again, but I don't want to go up like... It doesn't do half panels. It doesn't do half. You can't put it... Off. Oh, I can. I can snap it. That's how we'll do this. Ah, I don't want to do that. Nope. That's how we do this. Um, and I am again getting distracted. I know. I know. I'm sorry. But... Uh, that's kind of what I want, but I want it that way. Uh... Yeah, but you won't let me do the second one? Yes, you will. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Right. And then if we put in a walkway, break. There. And there. And there. And then. And then. And we get power cables that we're walking through, which is absolutely fine. Definitely doesn't void any health and safety standards at the workplace. Oops, we all know. We, we, I'm sure we're all completely fully aware of the wonderful health and safety regulations that say no power cables are to be left in a position where you can kill yourself with them. Um, it's worded a bit better than that, I think. But yeah, I can access all the machines from here. Unfortunately, I can't. I can access that machine by taking out this walkway piece, but I can't do it for this one. And then I could do it for that one. So every other machine I can get access, but then I don't need to because I can access the machine by leaning over. So, yeah, that's great. I also. I don't know if this is tall enough. I don't know whether this is tall enough. I don't like the idea of being um, uh, yeah, the power cable. I don't like. I don't like that. They, they look a bit weird. But then I don't know. The walkways are a work in progress. Okay, floating walkways are a work in progress. We've still got access down here to do things. That's still there. That's absolutely fine. Okie dokie. Right, so. Let's actually get on with what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Um, which is building constructors. I can't do it because I need reinforced panels. Okay, so. So we've got our. Constructors up and running. Building our pipes. And. Yeah, obviously, because these take 60 a go, so that's why that's coming out of there. But then these centre ones are not emptying. No, nope, the centre one's not emptying because these ones are getting priority for some reason. I don't know why. That's fine, though. It doesn't really matter. If I'm concerned about doing that, I will... Um, if I'm concerned about emptying the machines, I would... Uh, 
stop it. I don't know why this is stopping though, because that's a 60 belt, and that's taking 15 to 15, which is 30. And this is a 60 belt, which is taking 15 to 15, which is 30, plus 30 is 60. So I don't know why this one is stopping. Surely it should all, I know things obviously have to go in certain orders, but surely it should just go. It shouldn't ever do that. It shouldn't ever stop. Odd. But anyway, yes. Um, so, we have successfully built our pipe system going on here, and then we're going to expand out and do things there. And next episode, we shall start working on our copper plates. Um, I'm going to go and make some reinforced plates between episodes, and uh, we shall sort of take it from there. So... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. Back up here. Up, 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 up. Yay. And uh, until then, as always, have fun.